welcome back to another Warframe video. In this episode, guys, we'll be discussing the Archiplasmor, like I said in the last episode. And we'll also be looking at another weapon I've been working on that I think is great for Eidolon hunting. Uh, it's not the lowest mastery rank, but, you know, it's still... It's quickly becoming one of my favorites, I can say that much. So let's just get straight to it. So, my Archiplasmor is a work in progress, pretty much. I got a Prime Point Blank on there, I got Prime Ravage, which helps a lot when you're trying to take down those Eidolon limbs quicker. I got Blaze, but unfortunately, I'm still trying to get a mod called Shell Shock. And it's not too hard to get, I just gotta put the time in and get it. But I was, I've been busy forming the Lanka. Or Lan Lanka? I don't know how the hell you say that. <laughs> Anyways, so this is my Archiplasmor build so far. Like I said, we got Prime Ravage, we got Prime Point Blank, so we got a good, you know, damage and extra crit damage. And these aren't even maxed out yet, so I still gotta get a lot more endo. Got the credits, just need the endo. I threw on some multi shot, because of course that's gonna help with the damage and status chance, but I don't know if status chance is such a big deal or not. Uh, I threw on Seeking Fury, you know, extra, some extra reload speed. Gives it some punch through, even though it has like tons of punch through, if you ask me. It doesn't say it does, but I think it does. Uh, Blunderbuss for extra critical chance. And if I get Shell Shock, it'll replace Frigid Blast. So for the hell of it, I'll just show you how this works quickly against trying to bring down an idol on limb. It's not that great, but, you know, for the f fun of it, I'll show you. Just, you know, because some people might be curious. If I could, I'd have to form this again. I would I could throw on Vicious Spread, right, reducing the accuracy. Just get closer to shoot the limb. But that would help a lot with the damage. But yeah, we're going to... Oops. We're going to take a look at the other weapon now. The Lanka. Lanka, Lanka, whatever. So this one, like I said, is quickly becoming one of my favorites. It's got 10,346 radiation damage, and that's all the damage it puts out. There's no puncture, no slash, no impact, which, which is very curious. Because I know a lot of people say, when it comes to Warframe videos, right? Use radiation, and it makes a lot of sense, but... When a weapon just has pure radiation for damage, and it puts out like as high as you know numbers as the Lanka does when you build it right, yeah, it's it's crazy. So this is my build. I got Stormbringer and Thermite rounds to add to you know the electricity, and then add in that heat to create radiation. We have Point Strike for you know extra critical chance, Hammer Shot for extra critical damage, status for the hell of it. Uh, vital Sense, of course, you know, to get that 120% extra critical damage. Heavy Caliber. Uh, heavy Caliber doesn't seem to affect this gun too much, from what I've been noticing when using it, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, split Chamber. You know, gotta have that Split Chamber, that definitely helps out a lot. So this is my build for my Lanka. And I believe it's coming on night soon in the Plains of Sita, so we will quickly test these. Not like a full Eidolon kill, but you know, we'll do, I'll do two limbs, or try to do two limbs with each gun. Okay, and that's how we'll go, I guess we'll play this one. This little comparison, because I'm not trying to see which weapon's better, I'm just trying to show, you know, new players, like, who come across this video, uh, how these can do, with, you know, some average builds. And like, you know, there's no prime mods here on my Lanka. Lanka, I, I, God, that word just baffles me, I, I swear. Some of the weapons are named so strangely in this game. You know, as you guys can see, though, there's no Prime mods. There's no Riven mods. Like, I don't have another configuration hiding here with that stuff. This is just straight up how it goes. This is my preference on the way I built it. So we're going to take this. And also, something else I'll explain... Uh, that you'll notice an Eidolon hunt with this gun right here, which I think is a pretty interesting thing. So let's go see if we can find an Eidolon. <laughs> see you guys there. Alright, here we go. 
We got ourselves an Eidolon. We're gonna test out the Lanka first. And see how quick, you know, how long it takes to take out two limbs. So here we go. Speed her down. Hello, Mr. Idolin. Fancy meeting you on the plane. I'm not sure what works better. Opticore blast attack with this amp or a grenade one. They both seem to be good. It's very, you know, very good. Oh no, you don't. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Ow, oh, oh, that hurt. That hurt my feelings. Jesus. They don't kill me first. Let's see how we do. We get out of my way. Do the little thing. Come on. Two. Three. Four shots. That's actually pretty good. And that's why I said this uh, Lanka is quickly becoming my favorite weapon here. Yes, he does. Where'd he retreat to? Here? I hear him over here. Yeah, he's over here. Alright. I see a hiding over there. Alright, let's work on getting the shield down and get to limb number two. Oh. Eat the ramen noodles. Hello. Hello. There you go. Some more ramen noodles for you. Dignity. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, it just figures you to do that. Good thing we could get rid of those guys pretty quick. <laughs> Come on. Oh, your sugar cane. Thank you. Got one shot, two shots, three shots. Ow! Got knocked down before I could shoot. Four. Five. Four or five shots, that's not bad. Like, I, I can't complain about that. Alright, so, while it's nighttime, we're gonna quickly run back, get the Archiplasmor, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Even though it's not properly built for it, I just wanted to show you guys that it kind of does work, and doesn't work. <laughs> it's just, you know, for experimentation to show you, you know, what you can and cannot do with some of these things and how well they will perform so yeah I will be back guys once I have that stuff so here we are back on the plains still nighttime and we got the Archiplasmor the way I have it set up like I said it's not the best build for it but 
it's a different build. And like I said, if I had Shell Shock, I would definitely be doing more damage. But let's, let's just try it for shits and giggles anyways. See how this goes. Hello once again, Mr. Terrorist. How dare you. Alright, there we go. Come on. Hit me with your best shot. Do it. Do it. Suck. You suck. Get out of my way. Ow. <laughs> this is too funny. Keep the back slammer going. That's it. Ouch. Didn't hurt me enough. You know that? You know that? You didn't hurt me enough. I'll just sit here and reload my gun then. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm a trying. I really am trying. This is not like edited or anything. It's just, god damn. Without that extra radiation damage, it's just difficult to whittle them down. And I'm shooting like point blank here. Ow. So yeah. The Archiplasmor can do this, it's just you need a much better build than what I got going. Like I said, I need a hell of a lot more radiation damage. Just to make this a, a viable build. But I thought I'd show you guys that this is a good potential weapon. Even with a build like this, it's not really meant for this. <laughs> it, it can do some damage. Which, you know, it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. So yeah, let's head on back to the ship and discuss this a little further. I'll see you guys there. Ah, I'm still being shot at. So here we are back at the ship. And let's take a look at these uh, quickly once again. So the Lanka, 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 whatever. <laughs> it's, this is what, that's why I said in the beginning of the episode. It is quickly becoming one of my favorites because it actually took out the limbs a lot quicker than what my Opticore could. Usually I'll be taking a good amount of shots with the Opticore even when it, you know, got crit hits. And it never took the limbs out that fast. Even with my Chroma build, guys, like, like, you know, it hasn't changed. Like, it's still the same from the first Eilon hunting video I made. So, you know, if you guys want a quick look at that again, I got Gladiator Resolve in here. I got redirection. I got vitality. I got primed continuity, but continuity will be good enough if you don't have primed continuity. Uh, flow, streamline. You know, flow for more uh, maximum energy. And yeah, we got uh, ability efficiency, which is always great to have on any Warframe build, if you ask me. You know, that's just my opinion, but it seems to help. Like every Warframe I've ever used for any reason in this game, you know. Even just to, you know, give them a go, try them out, different playstyle, right? Streamline has always come in, like, real handy, like, when I mean that, when I say that, like, there's lots of abilities, like, drain abilities, abilities cost a lot to cast sometimes, right? This greatly helps with all that. And then Intensify, of course, you know, for ability strength. I'm hoping maybe next time Barrow Katir comes around, he'll have Prime mods again, and they'll be Primed Intensify, hopefully. But, you know, one can dream. <laughs> and we got Vigor for extra health and shield. Then Power Drift for more ability strength. And then, of course, Rejuvenation. You know, to help you yourself stay alive, not only a squad. And then I don't really got good Arcanes on here. To be honest, I need to do more farming for those, so... Uh, I'll just keep showing, you know, the build once every episode I do an Eidolon hunting video. And then that way you guys can see if it's been, you know, the build's been updated or not. So that's pretty much the same there. 
Now the Lanka once again we got Stormbringer. We have Thermite Rounds. We have Point Strike, you know, for that critical chance. Hammer Shot. We have Vital Sense, Heavy Caliber, Split Chamber, and Serration. So this is my Lanka build. It's, there's no prime mods in here, there's no riven mods required. It's pretty straightforward. Because I got the Thermite Rounds mod from Barrow Katir. I, you know, most of these mods, other than Split Chamber, Heavy Caliber, like Hammer Shot, you get from Alerts, Vital Sense, I believe I got that from a mission drop from an enemy. Like, I was just grinding out a mission at some point, and then eventually this dropped for me. This I had to trade for, I believe. Yes, I traded for a split chamber and heavy caliber because I didn't want to do all the grinding. But you could get, if you want to, you can go grind out uh, Sargus Ruck to get split chamber. Uh, you, there's uh, just YouTube search videos on where to look for a farming area for heavy caliber. And serration is pretty straightforward. You you could get a lot of those mods quickly over time just by you know playing missions. So that's the Lanka build, and like I said, that's quickly becoming my new favorite idol on hunting weapon with Chroma because of its weapon out, like damage output, you know. And when it does crit, it's even better. And it's just straight up radiation. And that's the thing, you guys, some, some of you may notice. Both these weapons I chose to do this video on, that's the th main thing they have in common. They don't use slash, they don't use puncture, they don't use impact damage. They're just radiation for the most part. Other than this, you know, if you were to take this off, right, it'd just be heat. But then it's just radiation. But then, you know, my radiation damage, you know, it goes down a little bit. Because, uh, I believe it's... But see, if I did throw this on, that brings it up to almost to 3,000. Which, which is pretty good. And I don't really know, like I, like I said, I need a shell shock. That mod would be great. So I am going to do a video just kind of dedicated to a really well done Archiplasmor build that I put together. You know, I just wanted to kind of show that this weapon, the Archiplasmor, has great potential for Eidolon hunting if you have the mods to build it up. You know, even like I said with the, you know, the crazy way I had it set up here, it was doing okay. You know, it wasn't doing great or fantastic, you know, I'll admit to that. But, you know, it was doing okay. Getting a little confused here. But Blaze is definitely a good one you want on there, right? It gives you extra damage, plus it gives you the heat. And you kind of want that, right? Because, like I said, if this Frigid Blast was Shell Shock, I'd just be adding to the overall total radiation on there. But this build I got going actually works good for killing Infested, Grenier, and, surprisingly, Corpus. You know, I didn't really think it would do that great against the Corpus, but it does. That's what this build mainly is, so I'll probably, you know, use Config B here to do an idle on hunting build. But that's all I really got to show. Um, oh yes, this Sarpa. Let, let, that's the one last thing I'd like to point out quickly. So the way I've done this, this weapon is, is very interesting. I put this mod on here called Shattering Impact. Impact from melee attacks reduces enemy armor by plus 6 when it's maxed out. Now, a lot of these other mods don't really matter, to be honest. It's just this one mod in particular. And it's a, uh, a bl like a gun blade, I guess it would be classified as in this game. So, let's go see if that Eidolon's still around. I'm hoping he's still around. And I'll show you guys what the main point of this is. So I'll see you guys there. So here we are back on the planes for the last and final thing I'd like to talk about in this episode. That mod, Shattering Impact, is very interesting because of what it can do. So I'll quickly just kind of skip ahead to once we have this shield taken down and I'll show you what I mean. So the Eidolon shield's almost down now. And usually he has a yellow health bar, right, once you take the shield down. Watch what happens when we do this.
if I can get the shots in here. Now, he no longer has his armor. Ow! <laughs> and he did not like me taking his armor. He just squished me to death. <laughs> so let's, let's, uh, see what happens if there's any difference here. Because we got our Archiplasma out, right? <laughs> it don't seem to make too much of a difference, but if you wanted to strip the Eidolon's armor, that's how you do it. Ah! Without using a corrosive projection mod or anything like that, right? You can easily take his armor away. It's all good. You don't gotta worry about it. But, you know, if that's something you were trying to figure out to do, how to do, to help your Eidolon hunting strategy, well, there you go. Like I said, it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference, but then again, right, I don't have a proper build on this gun. I should have came in here with the long tail drive. But like I said, I will do a video that is actually just dedicated to Archiplasma here. I know, Uncle. Shut it. Shut it. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you know, this helped, you know, learn something new. Gave you a little bit of insight into the potential of these weapons. Like I said, you just gotta have the, uh, the right mods and that. And you can build them up real good for hunting the idol in there. And also, like I said, this works pretty good for, you know, taking that armor down. I don't know if you want to take it all off, but you can. As you guys can see, it's all gone. <laughs> And he'll stay that way too, like if he teleports away somewhere else, you know, after you destroy a limb, he'll still have that, you know, reduced armor. That doesn't change until, I guess, you either leave the planes here or, you know, basically kill him or, yeah, something happens where you don't end up finishing the fight, basically. So like I said, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed, like I said, learned something new. If you did, make sure to subscribe. I do appreciate all the support, you know. And it seems like people are enjoying the Warframe videos. So I, I'll try and bring more of those out, definitely. And I'll be we're still working on that good old Arc Plasma here. Because this gun is amazing. It has tons of potential, not just for Eidolon hunting, but other things. I swear he's, he's coming for it. Oh my god. Alright, I'll see you guys later. He's, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me.